Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. So we've got lots of exciting announcements to tell you about this week, including the launch of machine learning for telecommunications. RDS now supports always on for SQL Server. Route 53 now has an interactive map for geoproximity routing. AMD powered instances are now available. And we announced the winner of Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Ryan Krunenberg. And me, Faye Ellis. So machine learning for telecommunications is now in general availability. So this is a machine learning framework which allows you to utilize your historical data to predict future outcomes and drive your business decisions. This new framework is tailored specifically for the telecommunications industry and it supports the widely used Jupyter notebooks for creating and sharing machine learning models. And this is going to be great for any telco customers looking to implement predictive analysis on their data. RDS now supports always on availability groups for SQL Server. And if you've not worked with always on before, it's a really flexible, high availability, disaster recovery and replication solution for SQL Server. And this means that when you create a multi-AZ SQL Server in RDS, the underlying technology you're going to be using is always on availability groups. And these are gonna provision the synchronous standby replica in a different AZ with automatic failover. So Route 53 now has an interactive map for geoproximity routing. And if you don't remember, geoproximity routing allows you to route your network traffic based on the physical distance between your users and your website. And they've now introduced an interactive map, which you can use to visualize your configuration and show the effects of your geoproximity settings. So this is gonna be great for planning and modeling your global traffic, and it's gonna be really good for troubleshooting as well. AWS have launched a range of new instance types which use the AMD EPYC processor running at 2.5 gigahertz. And these new instance types are going to be called M5A for the general purpose option and R5A for the memory optimized version. And they're priced at around 10% less than the equivalent Intel based instances. But the underlying hy hypervisor is built using the same Nitro technology, which is the same highly efficient and performant virtualization architecture used to run all the EC2 platforms. And these are gonna be great for anyone looking to optimize the cost of their EC2 environment. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was A, and lots of you got it right, but the person with the best answer is Bart Haskell, and Bart is an Integration Operations Technical Lead from the US. So congratulations to Bart. There's an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and a hand side card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2019. So please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our Facebook page. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep, Keep being awesome, awesome Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.